Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It is Jasmine here and as you can tell from the title of this video, this is going to be a what I eat in a day during quarantine. I felt like this was the appropriate time to film this video as I have groceries and you know I've also established kind of a routine of like what I like to eat. So I feel like it would be a little bit easier for me to film this and know exactly what I'm going to eat today. I'm trying to eat healthy but i'm not like putting pressure on myself to do that truthfully i have not worked out at all during this quarantine i very much enjoy a class style of setting like high intensity type workout so it's kind of been very hard for me to feel motivated to work out at home with like the lives and the youtube videos and stuff so because of that i am being a little more conscious of like what i'm eating i'm not trying to like snack too much or snack on like a lot of junk food at least so with that being said you know let's get this day started so the first order of business this morning is to make this tim hortons french vanilla i am not a coffee drinker at all i just i just don't enjoy the taste and it doesn't make me feel really good it makes me feel kind of heavy so not really a coffee drinker unless like i'm in europe or something but yeah, so I'm going to get started with this and then we are going to make breakfast. So for this Tim Hortons French vanilla cappuccino, it says to use three tablespoons, but I'm going to use four. I know that's a lot of sugar, but I feel like that gives me the most authentic Tim Hortons taste. So that's what I'm going to do this morning. of almond milk. Perfect. I'm also going to add a little bit of almond milk in this just to make it a little bit more fluffier. I never put salt on my breakfast unless like I'm cooking for Dan and I just because I love putting cheese on my eggs. The cheese and the butter have a lot of salt in it so I just feel like I don't need to put extra salt on my food in the morning. So yeah, that's super easy and the eggs are done. So for breakfast, I went really simple this morning and did the scrambled eggs with shredded cheese, a toasted poppy seed bagel, and one full cut up tomato on the side. Okay, while I eat breakfast, I'm going to watch some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because I believe there is a new episode. Okay, so I'm gonna also take one of these Jameson multivitamins. I try taking these once a day when I remember, but it has a lot of great vitamins in it. Now that I've ate breakfast, 
I'm gonna take this because it says that it's supposed to be taken with a meal. I am starving, so I'm going to make lunch. I'm going to make the salad that I've been making for the past like week now, which I've really been enjoying. It is basically a medley of just a whole bunch of ingredients. It's actually also pretty big as well, so it fills me up until pretty late. But yeah, I love mixing textures and flavors together, so that's what I will be doing with this salad. These are the ingredients that I'll be using for my salad today. The base is going to be this organic arugula and baby spinach mix. And then I'm going to bake the rest of this sweet potato, as well as bake these black oyster mushrooms, which are so good. I'm also going to bake some breaded chicken strips to cut up into the salad, and then cut up a tomato and a bit of cucumber. I'm gonna top it off with some balsamic vinegar as a dressing. I like to layer my salads. I don't really like when all my toppings are at the top and then I have to mix everything together. So what I'm gonna do is add in my greens, my cucumbers, tomatoes, the baked sweet potato and shred cheddar cheese on top of that. From there, I'm gonna add in the baked oyster mushrooms and then I'm gonna shred some smoked gouda on top of that. And then I'm gonna do the whole layer all over again. And then I'm gonna top it off with the baked chicken and some balsamic vinaigrette and a little more cheddar cheese. Okay, I'm back and it is a bit later and I braided my hair and changed this comfy gray tracksuit because it is a lot more comfy than what I was wearing earlier. Um, I've been having the feeling to bake, so I think I'm going to bake banana bread. I have the ingredients and I have a few bananas that are pretty ripe, so I think I'm gonna do that. I've never done this before, so we're gonna see how well it turns out. Also for dinner, honestly, I'm feeling still pretty full from the salad, so Either I'm gonna make a frozen pizza or I'm actually gonna cook because I have some produce that needs to be cooked because it might go bad soon. So we'll see, who knows how this night's gonna go. But let's get started on this banana bread. Okay, so I have all my ingredients here, all purpose flour, baking soda, sugar, salt, chocolate chips, walnuts, vanilla, melted butter, eggs, bananas, calls for yogurt as well, which is strange, but I'm not gonna argue with it. And here's a recipe which I grabbed from Pinterest. Hey Siri, set 55 minute timer. Okay, 55 minutes and counting. Wow, look how good it looks. Oh, it looks so good. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna try it. I'm so excited. I feel like I actually did a pretty good job. The top is a little brown, but I know the inside. I hope that the inside is like moist and perfect. Moment of truth. Oh, look at 
get that. Yay. I'm so pumped. <laughs> I'm gonna have one slice for now because I still have to eat dinner and then I'm gonna pig out after, probably with ice cream as well. Perfect. It's actually perfect. I want to eat this whole thing like tonight. Oh my god. I did it right. So good. I'm gonna share some with my roommate as well. Cause everyone needs to taste this. <laughs> I'm just so proud of myself. I need like a glass of milk or something. So I'm in my backyard and I'm going to make dinner. My plans completely changed. My roommate was using the barbecue so I was like might as well also use the barbecue. So I'm going to make beef burgers tonight for dinner. She's making salmon. Um, I had a couple of beef patties in the freezer so I was like might as well because this is the first time that we're using the barbecue for the season. These are the beef burger patties that I'm going to throw into the barbecue and I salted and peppered them before. I'm just going to use my hands for now. Of course, when I try to make dinner outside, it rains. Like, literally raining, if you can hear that. Um, so I don't know how much footage I'm going to get of me cooking outside because I don't want my camera to get wet. But I'm also going to add on some zucchini and red peppers onto the barbecue. And then I will see you guys inside once I'm done cooking out here. I don't have any burger buns, so I'm using bagels. And thankfully, it stopped raining for a bit, so yeah. For dinner, we got the barbecue toasted poppy seed bagel, a little bit of spinach and arugula, topping it with the burger patty with melted cheese and a couple of slices of tomatoes. And then on the side, we have the barbecue zucchini and red peppers. Oh, and I only ended up eating one of the burger patties. I'm gonna save the other one for tomorrow. So dinner was bomb, and now I'm gonna eat some dessert. I'm going to have my favorite ice cream, haagen dazs cookie dough. I'm gonna put on top of my banana bread that I made. I'm gonna warm it up. And my roommate and I are going to watch a movie tonight. We're gonna watch The Invisible Man. So I'm looking forward to that. There you guys have it. My full day of eating during quarantine today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed eating today. Um, but I'm going to head to bed now. I'm gonna watch some Grey's Anatomy before I fall asleep. But before you guys go, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.